What's up and welcome back. I'm Ash from innerstrengthgym.com and this channel is all about helping you find your inner power. In today's On The Mats video, I want to share with you a couple of resistance band exercises that I've been developing to help beginners get a better sense of how to uh, lock down their core, be able to use the hips and shoulders better for their martial arts practice. If this is your first time here and you like videos about martial arts, meditation, nutrition and fitness, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon so that you know when I upload a new video. All right, so in Iwi Chuen, which is the martial art that I practice specifically, using the hips and shoulders as the four corners that propel power is a very important concept. A lot of martial arts basically all share the same concept of you, you wanna use the hips and the shoulders to be as one unit to turn the core. So you see kind of like a lot of um, similar, you know, uh, chambering exercises in um, different styles of like, say like karate and whatnot. And even in Ely Chun, we have a, an exercise that is like kind of similar as far as like a solo exercise goes, but it's not really meant to um, teach you chambering in such a way like as uh, like punching one, two, one, two. It's about how to connect from through the feet to the ground and then use that power to rotate your uh, your torso all right so remember yin and yang work together right and so we want to have that ability of anti-rotation within rotation so that we're rotating from the pelvis and not from by twisting the waist which is one of the most common mistakes that i see with uh, with beginners not able to unify the upper and lower with that kind of sinking and clamping energy that we're looking for to be able to connect to the ground and transfer force through the legs and through the rotation of the body you know without twisting as in the, at the waist and breaking off that section as a weak point in the link all right so tai chi is not yin and yang is yin and yang together, right? So it's two unified as one. All right, so what that means is yin and yang always work together to support each other and to help each other, right? So I want you to keep that concept in mind because what we're gonna work with right now is uh, sort of, you could look at it as, as yin within yang, yang within yin. And so what I mean by that is we're gonna have two elements going. First one is anti-rotation. So in order to connect down to the ground, right, you want to have, uh, you know, you want to be able to connect to the ground through the body and use the ground to, to generate power. But uh, one problem that I tend to see with uh, uh, the beginners is that they have trouble like unifying the upper and lower sort of so that the shoulders and the hips work as like a cylinder, right? So we're gonna use the resistance band just to build up some power of, uh, of anti-rotation. So you can do a lot of different variations of this. So for instance, you know, we can put some, some tension on the band, bring it out to your midline, and then drop down into uh, a horse stance. Now the whole time that I'm here, the resistance band is wanting to turn me to my right and so I'm forced to stabilize my core against the, the rotational force being applied by the band. And then of course we would turn and apply. You're gonna train both sides. And then like I said, you can do a lot of variations on this. You can do it just standing. You can come down into a lunge position and train in the lunge position. You can go from a high kneeling position train in the high kneeling position and again you want to train both sides so that's the element of anti-rotation right to be able to lock down the core so that you can transfer force in that kind of spiraling power from the feet out to your point of contact or out to the hand all right so once we've locked down that power of anti-rotation now we want to use rotation with anti-rotation within it. And what that, what that means is, now we're going to start to work on this like open and close. But we're going to work on this open and close here, this kind of rotation of the hips and shoulders together. 
with the resistance band, but with that anti-rotation within it. So in other words, I'm maintaining my, my structure here, you know, as a, as a unit, almost like as a cylinder. Like I said, it's shoulders and the hips cause the four corners that propel power. All right, now, uh, so now the way that we're gonna change this exercise, we're gonna bring the band around the back of the hip. And I'm gonna grab it with my opposite hand and I'm gonna keep the, the hand tight against the hip the whole time and the arm also against the body. Because what I, what we don't want to do here is I don't want to, I'm not trying to pull here with my shoulder. I want the resistance band across my pelvis. All right, we're gonna put some tension on the band. And then now from here, I'm just gonna practice this rotation. For, you know, again, I'm connecting to the ground, propelling this force from the ground through the hip and to turn the shoulder but with just a little bit of feedback from the resistance band to really help me bring my, my awareness here to the ground, to the feet, and to my pelvis. If you like this video, I have a whole bunch of uh, premium members-only content over on my Patreon page for just five bucks a month. There's a link in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.